for 45 minutes. My appointment was for half past 12. My brother suicide. It's that Miss Neville. She's back in a rare taking, she is. The whole thing was a wicked practical joke. There wasn't anything wrong with Auntie at all. She couldn't understand it when I suddenly turned up. Mm. Quite sure it was my friend, Mr. Carter, who sent this telegram. Frank? Whatever for? So, what patients had Monsieur Morley this morning? Appointments are all in here. Ten o'clock, Mrs. Soames, about her new plate. <coughs> if you please, Alfred, tell me, is it possible for anyone to enter the house without you having to let them in? No. No, not a chance. Well, not unless they've got a key anyway. But it is quite easy for them to leave the house. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yeah, most of them come down the stairs while I'm taking the new party up in the... Thank you. The officer of your eminence, is he usually called in to a case of apparent suicide? Alastair Blunt was here. Mr. Blunt is the kind of person we take care of in this country. You mean that there are certain people who would like him out of the way? You bet there are. <laughs> Poor dear sister who was still alive. She were alive, mother, you couldn't benefit from her will. That is a wicked thing to say, Jane. It's not wicked, it's true. The truth is often wicked. I'm sorry, Julie, this is not my business. Uh, when I die, the capital will come to you to do with exactly as you wish. Until then... Until then, I am expected to exist. I won't say live. On the pittance from the trust. $25,000 a year can scarcely be called a pittance.
is not charity. Hi. Yes, Miss Monson. <laughs> Mr. Amberiotis. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid you can't. Oh, yes, I can, my lad. Uh, you don't understand, sir. Mr. Amberiotis died half an hour ago. Interesting. Interesting, Dr. Manning. Mr. Amberiot has died of heart failure. Heart failure? Uh, brought about by an... <laughs> Novo claims the stuffed dentist give you, isn't it? That's right, Chief Inspector. The subject had been to the dentist, I believe. What a washout. What do you mean? <coughs> Morley makes a mistake and injects an overdose. And when Amberi Ortiz is gone, he realizes what he's done. Oh, and face him and shoots himself. With a pistol he is not known to possess. Relations don't know everything. It is true. Now then. All the same, Chief Inspector. He does not... Committed suicide? Mr. Morley? Can you tell us who else was in the waiting room? Right there was just one young man there when I went in. I think he was in pain because he was muttering to himself and looking. Oh, oh dear. Oh, do forgive me. Oh, oh the light in here is so. Blimey. I'm afraid. Uh, going to see Treviata at Covent Garden. Ah. Thank you, Monsieur Arnold. A tragedy. Yes. Pardon. I must detain you. Amberiotis died of heart failure caused by a large overdose of a novocaine and adrenaline. Wally is now himself dead. We shall never have the answer to this. Nevertheless, it is your duty, of course, gentlemen of the jury, to consider all possibilities before you arrive at your verdict. 